If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. A New York woman who had her life taken by her estranged husband on Wednesday had been working with the domestic violence advocacy to seek safe shelter for herself and her three children. On September 28th, Cheek Tawaga police responded to a residence amid reports of Yara Benfield, age 40, being harmed by her estranged husband, Adam Benfield, age 48. Officers filed a warrant against the husband and told Kiara to contact them if he returned. They later, police reportedly learned that Kiara had a video of the assault, but they did not receive the footage until three days later, October 2nd. This led to charges being upgraded against Adam, who eventually turned himself in on misdemeanor assault charges on Tuesday, October 4th. Adam was then released at some point. Quote, the suspect was arraigned and a straight a stay away order of protection was issued against the suspect. After being released by the court, the domestic violence advocacy advised the victim that the suspect was released. On October 5th, he allegedly drove to Kiara's mother's home in Buffalo, where she was staying with her mother, and fatally took her life. Whereas before her life was taken, Kiara reportedly posted footage of the September 28th assault on her Facebook page. Quote, this is what this man does to me, but this is what this man does to me, but I'm always treated like the abuser. A source stated that Kiara had been wearing a bulletproof vest as she feared her estranged husband would take her life. Authorities have declined to confirm whether this is true or not. Arrest warrant has been issued against Adam and police are currently looking for him. He is considered dangerous and possibly armed. A $7,500 reward is being offered for information that leads to his arrest. I want to give my condolences to uh, the family of this young woman and, and more so especially to the kids. Um, I, for the longest time on both platforms have advocated for black women to go out there and learn self-defense to go out there and get their license uh, so that they can legally carry and defend themselves if they need to do so and during the course of me covering and doing these stories and these videos um, i've had a lot of pushback basically stating that, oh, you know, black women wouldn't have to deal with this if black women were, black men were doing this, this, that, and the third, and all this other type of stuff. And the main thing that, you know, I've always tried to do in state is that if you have guys out here that want to do what it is that they want to do, they're going to do it. For your own best interest, for your own survival, you should go out there and you should proceed to get defensive training hand-in-hand -hand combat so that you can potentially fend off an attacker no matter who it is so that you have more survivability and you're not as vulnerable and also so that you can legally carry and know how to fire a, a firearm properly and different things in that nature so just in case somebody comes to your home or wherever you consider to be your safety that you are full uh, full ready to basically defend and fight for your life and i feel that if you know she had any or both of these things that this would be a vastly different story that more than likely she would be here you know trying to defend herself and stating that hey i have factual evidence on the reason why i had to defend myself the way that i had to defend myself because of this videotape here because of the other evidence here and because of you know these things here and you know like i said i the main thing I can just hope is that, you know, black women will look at this story as an example and go out there instead of spending money like I've been stating for the longest time possible. Stop spending money on all of this hair, all of this makeup, all of these eyelashes on all of these clothes. Stop trying to keep up with the other black women that surround you and, and, and that's your competition and go out there and get something that you can build upon get something that you can pass on and teach somebody else. 
You're not going to pass on that makeup 50 years down the road. You're not going to pass on those eyelashes, those wigs, whatever it is. The training and the knowledge that you get is something that you can pass on, something that you can give to your daughter, your granddaughter, your niece, a neighbor, a best friend, a sister. This information is way more important than any of the other things that you you, you see as a want. Like I said, I'm very sorry that uh, this woman ended up losing her life to the person that she wanted to spend the rest of her life with. And now this guy, after doing all of this, oh, let me let me just go out on a run. Let me go out on a run. And the other reason that I tell women, especially black women, to go out here and do this is by way of the fact that every time I cover these stories, guess what? The men are released. They're out on bond. So what does that then mean? Hey, well, you threw me in jail. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that you don't throw me in jail again. So he's the one that, in a sense, gets the last say so. He's the one that gets to say the last goodbye and to, you know, kiss his family goodbye and see everybody else and to take a breath of fresh air and all this other type of stuff. He's the one that still gets to live. Because the court systems and the police are not going to do the necessary things that they are supposed to do, which is to protect and serve. And you were clearly able to hear that directly in the video. They released them. They didn't go out there and from at least what I read, from what I read and what I gathered, they didn't go out there and, 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 and notify her. It was the advocacy program that set up there and notify her like, hey, they released this dude. You know, make sure that you, you move in a certain type of way. Make sure that you know what's going on. And the main thing that I want to also showcase to a lot of black women is this. You can state that you are independent. You can state that you don't need a man and, and all these other types of things. You can state that you're as equal as you want to be. But this completely shows how everything works in the world. This shows that that equality is, is, is not there. Everybody are just as equally strong. That shows that this is not there. This also shows what happens when you don't have, right, those men to protect you, which every woman needs. Every woman out here needs men in their lives to be able to defend and protect them. Do you really think that he would have been able to roll up to her father or her brothers or her cousin's house and, and do what it is that he did? No. Nah, who did he whose house did he roll up to? He went to her mother's home. That's a woman. He knew that if the mother was there or however it went, he could just barge through that door. He can overpower both of them and do what it is that he wanted to sit up there and do. And that's exactly what happened. So like I said before, y'all can keep giving me pushback. Y'all can keep saying the things that y'all want to sit up there and say. All you're doing is deflecting from the main point that I've always stated. Black women need to go out here and learn self-defense. And black women need to go out here and get their license to carry. If you ain't talking about that, you ain't talking about nothing.